Okay, so friggin' uh, it's a pretty miserable day on our way to Old Inwood there, but check it out. It's friggin' Papa Zumi's rig, eh? Friggin' right it is. It's going fishing. Probably going fishing. But anyways, oh well, look, there he is. Look at these guys. Just relaxing, smoking some cigs. Anyways, uh, see you when we get to Old Inwood. So we're back in Inwood there, friggin' more ripping and tearing, sort of got an idea as to what we're doing now. Logie's been down and sort of told me, you know, what, what sort of has to happen to get her to work right and everything. So I got, I found a tub and a sink and a toilet on, uh, on the old Kijiji there. So hopefully uh, Buddy will be around tonight and we can grab that. But uh, I'm just working on getting the 2x4s up off the floor, they're bringing Tapcon down there and stuff. So. I sort of got to have some dangling wires over here for once we rip out this wall. So, I mean, everything's sort of just strung about up, up the top there. So, shouldn't be too bad. I'm just going to run one big fat wire from the panel way over there in the corner up into here and put another uh, panel in here for the bathroom, kitchen, and the fire room over here. That room over there. So, can't find my sawzall blades there. So, for again, uh, I got some somewhere, but I just can't find them. So uh, we went to TSC there, and they had uh, they had these on sale last weekend, but the 40% off tag was still on the uh, rack. So he was going to try to charge me a whole bunch, and I told him, "Hey, it's on sale, eh?" And they kind of rose a bit of a stink, but that's the only sawzo blade we got, and it's Dick. So got a new one in the rig, new one in the rig there, and uh, so I'm going to go get some two by fours out. Make my part. So you guys know how we uh, we love the moats uh, here in Old Inwood. So uh, while I was in there frigging around in the bathroom, frigging breathing that our mic was out here digging a frigging moat because uh, we got a blockage in the son of a bitch. You might remember from a previous video, the water just doesn't want to go there underground. So we're making her go there overground, I guess. But uh, frig's sake, what a miserable day, son of a bitch. Okay, got a little more done there. Got the board up off the floor and sort of opened her up as far as we need to that way and whatnot. This friggin' board stuck on there with, oh crap, I just about died, boys. Just about friggin' died. But uh, it's stuck on with the tape and the friggin' uh, plastic and all kinds of crap. So I'm going to have to really, really finesse it out of there, I think. But uh, and then I got to just pull out this wall. I got the door out there. Had to... Uh, Wanted to take her out nice so we could save the frame and whatnot. Son of a bitch, but look what I found. Look what I found. Dirty old friggin' tape box for a, a shim there. Are you done? Are you done? So, uh, yeah, once all this wall and everything's down, I'll have to pull the plastic off and friggin' rewire or, you know, figure. I'm gonna get the tub and stuff. We're gonna leave right here shortly to grab that tub and toilet and sink and so we'll get this and that into all of the position see how much room we got and where we need to put plugs and outlets and stuff and crap and different things so uh yeah well, that's just about it friggin just gonna probably whack out this friggin wall here before uh, we take off and go grab that shit and drop it off and then come back tomorrow and frig around but frig sakes you can't even go for a romp today it's just decked while I could but I ain't got no fenders and you get you know kinds of crap in your uh, mouth and eyes when you when you romp in the rain with no fenders but anyways uh, I gotta teach and then bust the swallow and then we gotta go and uh, beg my bird and just like that it was done friggin right so it kind of looks like it might be a kitchen with like a vent stack and a toilet in it now you know and if you come all the way over here you know sort of again we'll have to sort of Old Gramps there is taking out his kitchen, getting himself a new kitchen, so I'm going to recycle his old cabinets there and friggin' see how they fit in here and see what works best. And uh, I want to keep most, you know, the water sort of in this area. I was thinking about cutting this uh, window out for, for a door, but I think uh, because of the water situation, I'm going to want to just keep the drains and the water all in this wall here and the bathroom on one side, kitchen on the other, then we'll be good. So maybe like a stackable apartment size washer dryer here and like a counter, open this window up, take the window out of there and put it in here, put a door in there. You know, there's all kinds of ideas, but again, we got to friggin' uh, 
get the stuff we're getting and friggin see how she fits but uh, anyways it's time to go and uh, get the uh, the bathroom stuff there so uh, probably make a little bit of a video at buddy's place and then we got to go home we're big time late well I don't know how you can good you can see it because there's no lights in this in this room or whatever but uh, there's a sink freaking pedestal guy shitter it's like the dual flush handler it's got the big button and the little button stuff like that and the tub and the tub surround so this is sort of well sink will be sort of over here I think but probably have enough room for washer and dryer in here maybe I figure but uh, anyways freaking we gotta go we're late big time look you can tell I remembered I had a trailer on today it was awesome friggin uh, but anyways beg my part okay so I don't know if you can friggin hear it or not but uh, the shit tonic plates are shifting it in with big times so we're out of here friggin on our way back to St. Thomas hopefully it's less dick there but uh, yeah, I guess uh, until tomorrow, don't let the watchers get you.